So the game I'm playing today is called Bomberman 93 for the TurboGrafx-16. Yes, it's about time I finally played a Bomberman game, and also about time I finally covered a uh, TurboGrafx-16 game, although this is the only one I ever played. Not sure how many of you even remember the TurboGrafx-16. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't, at least if you live in North America, because in this part of the world, the TurboGrafx-16 was not uh, a very successful console. As a matter of fact, it was a commercial failure for the most part. I think it only managed to sell about 2 million copies in North America, which, compared to other systems of its time, like the systems it was competing with, which would have been the Sega Genesis and the SNES, it was just abysmal, and when the console did ultimately fail, no one really cared about it. The marketing for the console was not great either, and that was one of the contributing factors to its failure, at least in the US. But in Japan, it was a completely different story. In Japan, the TurboGrafx-16 was released as the PC Engine in uh, 1987, and it was actually quite successful. I think at one point, it even managed to outsell the Nintendo Famicom, and the Super Famicom would eventually become its main rival. So, it was a pretty large competitor to Nintendo at the time, at least in Japan. It didn't manage to outperform the Genesis or the SNES in North America, and when it did fail in North America, no one really cared about it, and that's probably why no one even remembers the console. I mean, some of you might. I'm not saying that no one back in, like, the late 80s, early 90s grew up with the TurboGrafx-16, but I assume most of you didn't because of how poorly it sold. But this is one of the games that was featured on the uh, console. This is Bomberman 93, developed by Hudson Soft, of course. Hudson Soft are best known for the Bomberman franchise. It's arguably their most well-known franchise, and also one of the best-known franchises in video games. It's still alive even to this day. There was a new Bomberman game that came out for the Switch earlier this year. Of course, Hudson does not own the Bomberman series anymore, because Hudson actually went defunct in 2012, and the IP rights were sold to Konami, which I'm not really sure how I feel about, because I mean it's Konami, I shouldn't have to explain to you guys why that's a bad thing. But this was a game that I initially played on the Nintendo Wii Virtual Console, because I never owned a TurboGrafx-16 growing up. That console was way before my time, and I wasn't even aware of its existence, or made aware of its existence, until a, a very long time uh, later on. Like, uh, when I was in middle school, that's, that's around the time I became aware that the TurboGrafx-16 was a real console. In fact, I think I became aware that the TurboGrafx-16 was a real console because of the Wii Shop channel. So, I got this on the Wii Virtual Console a long time ago, because at the time, I had never really played a Bomberman game before, so I had some Nintendo points left over, decided to download it just to see what all the hype was about, why so many people love the Bomberman franchise, and yeah, it, it is a pretty fun game. Although most of the time I had with this game back then was spent in the battle game mode, so... I, I do have a lot of uh, fond memories playing the battle game mode uh, by myself, because I didn't have any friends to play with. That's not to say I didn't have any friends at all, but, you know, none of my friends were really into Bomberman back then. Only me, I guess. Well, even though I wasn't really a, a big fan of Bomberman either, because this was pretty much the first Bomberman game I ever played. So, I think the way we're going to uh, start this video off first is by going to the normal game mode. I'll show the battle game maybe uh, later on in the video, like maybe sometime at the, uh, the end of it. So, I think for now, we'll just get started right away here and just go to uh, the normal game mode. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep the explanations uh, too long today, guys. I just want to try and get right into the game. Because to tell you the truth, this is actually like my uh, third time trying to record this video here. Uh, the two other times, it's not because my recording software messed up or anything and I lost footage, it's just because my commentary was not fantastic. So, I just decided to uh, try and re-record it, try to give you guys uh, better and more informative commentary, because I don't want to sound completely bored out of my mind when I'm recording videos. So, when we start up normal game here, we have this uh, cutscene right here of, uh, yeah, th the Black Bomber uh, destroying this facility right here. I don't know, kind of looks like something out of, out of Mega Man. And then you have... Actually, you know what? I actually don't remember this cutscene all that much. I, I didn't- I never really played normal mode all that much, so... 
I don't uh, remember a great deal about it, but because this is like my third attempt at recording this video, uh, I have already played the normal mode a little bit, so I, I kind of know a little bit more about it now. So, basically what's going on here is that uh, you have all of these planets right here that you have to go and, uh, well, scour. I, I assume to get all of the- uh, oh my god, dude. White Bomber just got blown up by a massive bomb here. So yeah, what you have to go what you have to go do is that you're traveling to all these planets to find whatever the heck Black Bomber threw out of his spaceship. And uh Okay, is this is this cutscene gonna end anytime soon? Because I don't actually remember the, the cutscene being that long. Here we go. Disputed planet, the quarry. Well, we can only go to the quarry right now, but there's five other planets here that we can go to eventually. But we're not going to uh right now. I'm not even going to try and play through uh all of single player mode here. So, we have this cutscene right here, Planet Quarry, Old Mines, Meat Digger, watch out for his fireballs after he warps. I believe this might be the boss of Planet Quarry, but we're not gonna see him for a little while. So, if you've never played a Bomberman game before, here's basically how it works. It's kinda like a maze game, where you have all these enemies roaming around, and what you have to do is that you place down bombs, and after a few seconds they explode, you can use the bombs to destroy rocks, and also kill enemies. You can also find, uh, upgrades in the rocks. I believe there's only one upgrade you can find in each level, though. And when you kill all the enemies, that is not an instant, uh, stage complete, because... The, uh, there- in, in, in every single stage in, uh, this Bomberman game in particular, there is a portal you have to fly in. And you have to, uh, enter the portal in order to exit the stage. However, the only, uh, the portal only becomes activated once you kill all the enemies. And it's not really a good idea to discover the portal before you kill all the enemies in the stage, because if you do that, there is a chance that the portal can actually spawn more enemies. So the ideal way you want to tackle these levels is by killing all the enemies first, and then finding the portal that leads to the exit. So uh, there you go, I killed all the, all the enemies right here. Then there's going to be this rock right here that... Uh, Flash is orange. This is showing you where one of the upgrades are. So this upgrade right here, which is a fireball, increases the explosion radius of my bombs, so that way I can kill enemies a lot easier, and I can also uh, destroy rocks a lot quicker as well, because uh, I can get multiple rocks destroyed with just one single bomb. You do get upgrades later on, uh, like in the later stages, that uh, grant you more bombs that you can drop, because right now you can only drop one bomb at a time. You're also not immune to your own bombs, so you can get killed by them. So you do need to be careful of that. You can also accidentally trap yourself with your own bombs, so... Just try to be careful when you're placing them down. Try to place them down strategically, so, you know, you don't, you don't make a stupid mistake and end up getting yourself killed, of course. You'll also be able to get an upgrade later on that allows you to, uh, remote detonate your bombs. So, makes it a lot easier to kill enemies that way. But again, just make sure you don't remote detonate them when you're standing right next to it. So, I'm trying to find the exit right now, but, uh... Oh my god, dude, where, where is it? There it is. I do believe the placement of the portal is random in every single stage. So every time you play through these stages, the portal won't be placed underneath the exact same rock. So... The levels are kind of randomly generated in that sense, even though, uh... They are mostly the same, like, every time you play them, they will have pretty much the same layout, but... I do believe the placement of not only the portal, but also the rocks will be random every single time. I did uncover the portal right there, but as you're gonna see in maybe just a few moments, because I didn't wipe out uh, all the enemies in the room yet, there's gonna be more enemies that pop out here. So if I can just try and kill the other guys before, uh, before they get over here, then uh, this would be that, that would be ideal if, if this other guy could come over here. There we go. And if I can try and uh, kill the other guy over here, I probably can trap him right there. There we go, very nice. You can trap enemies like that so they have nowhere to run. There's also this uh, alien cyclops slug, as I like to call it. Yeah, I did actually get the upgrade right there for the, uh, the bomb, uh, for the multiple bombs. So I can just uh, place that down now. Uh, I did already get the upgrade. As you can see, I can place down two bombs at a time now. I did already get the upgrade, so we can just go into the portal and finish the level. So, uh, what, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, 
if you place down two bombs right next to each other, what will happen is that uh, the explosion of the other bomb will also cause the uh, other bomb to detonate, like the second one. So, again, just be careful when you're placing down multiple bombs, because you don't want to go too crazy with them. If you place them side by side, they'll all explode at the exact same time. So, again, you need, you need to be strategic when placing your bombs down. Also, how many times have I said the word bomb in this video so far? It feels like 9 million, but... I, I'm, I'm trying my best to explain this here, guys, and I do feel like I am explaining it a lot better than I was before. So, let's just uh, go and trap this guy. Yeah, there's also uh, that other enemy down there made out of crystals. He is actually immune to explosions, at least when he's uh, not moving. So, in order to kill him, we actually need to have him moving when we go and blow up the bomb. And if uh, we can try and kill someone here... Oh my god, here we go. Come on. Yeah, see, he, he doesn't get hurt by it. But when he starts moving again, he should be able to get destroyed. Okay, why is... Come on here, guys. Run right into it, please, like the, like the idiots you are. Oh god. Yeah, also, uh... The movement of the, the little alien slugs right here is also a little bit uh, less predictable because they do tend to move in more, uh, they, they, they tend to move in more, uh, a lot, a lot spazzier, like, they're, like their movement is a little spazzier than uh, the other enemies in this game. But uh, we did kill them all already, so now we all we need to do is just uh, find the upgrade, or did I already find the upgrade? Yeah, because I think it was it was the roller skates, wasn't it? This allows me to uh, to run a lot faster. There is also a time limit in every single stage. I don't believe it is a uh, game over if you or you lose a life, I should say, if you uh, run out of time. But I think what happens is that there will be other enemies that spawn when the time runs out, and they move extremely fast. And I do believe it is still possible to kill them but uh, it is very difficult to do so. So, I mean, if you are really good at Bomberman, you might have no problem dealing with those guys, but other than that, you want to find the portal, kill all the enemies, and get the heck out of Dodge as fast as you can. Then when you get into level 4 right here, you have this, uh, this like, alien slime ghost enemy. I don't really know how else to describe him, but... What, what this guy can do is that he can actually uh, fly over rocks, so he can go, like, pretty much anywhere. He's not uh, too difficult to deal with, however, because he does move very slowly, so if you place a bomb uh, right next to him, he because he moves so slowly, he does have a difficult time getting out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna try and place a bomb here so that when the guy wakes up... Yeah, there we go. As soon as he wakes up, he will begin taking damage from bombs again. I can get rid of the slug there. Alright. I'm actually doing a lot better than I uh, than I thought I would. I mean, I always... I always thought that I was, uh, very bad at Bomberman. I mean, I am- I am bad at video games in general, but... I don't know, I'm- I would say I'm doing pretty well right now. I haven't died so far. Watch as I go and jinx it! Oh, good god! I almost trapped myself there, but at least I got, uh, another guy. Okay. This little slug guy right here is gonna get wrecked. Please, thank you. Okay, good. Uh, the upgrade is all the way down over there. So I think I'm just gonna go down there and grab it immediately. Okay, that's actually convenient, because the teleporter's right over there. Let me go and get this upgrade. So this heart right here allows me to uh, remote detonate my bomb, so I can demonstrate this here quickly. As you can see, uh, let me just go down here. Yeah, my bombs are not exploding now, but if I uh, press the space bar because I'm playing it on an emulator, as you can see, I can cause them to explode. This is also my first time ever using a TurboGrafx-16 emulator, so I'm not quite used to the keyboard controls on this. I'm more used to the Wii controls because I did first play this on the Wii, after all. Uh, right, so, are there more enemies here? Oh yeah, there's also this, like, uh, this little pterodactyl creature right here. And, of course, he just flies into the bomb. Yeah, the, a <laughs> the AI in this game is not, uh, the most intelligent, I will, I will admit. Most of the time, they just end up running back into the bombs. They're not the smartest in the world, but sometimes they... Occasionally, they will see right through your shenanigans, and they'll try to, uh avoid the bomb as best as they can, but when you have them trapped, they have pretty much nowhere to go, so they just, they just die. They have no choice but to, but to accept their fate. Okay, here we go. Let's just wait for this guy to wake up, and okay, I still got him anyway because he ran back into the explosion. Wait for the slug to come back here. Come on. Come on. 
okay, it's it's almost like he knows. Get in there. There we go. Very nice. Accept your fate. All of you are gonna accept your fate. There we go. Very nice indeed. Right. Upgrades right over here. Let me just go and break that. I don't remember what this upgrade is, but I was kind of thinking it allowed you to move your bombs after you placed them down, because I do believe some of the Bomberman games have an upgrade like that, but I don't quite know if that's what I'm able to do. Yeah, I have, I have no idea. And if I am able to do that, then I have no idea what the control is for that, because I do not remember at all. Rightio, so now we're gonna go to, uh, stage A6. I don't know how, uh, how many levels all of these, uh, all of these zones have. But then you get into stage A6. Okay, I already got an extra life right off the bat, and I think that's the only upgrade that's actually in the, this level in particular. So, as you can see, you have enemies here that, uh, resemble Pac-Man. Yeah, uh, there's... I, I, I'm pretty sure there's some sort of copyright infringement going on here, but... I, I don't know for sure. I don't know, it, it... I mean, he looks pretty similar, doesn't it? The similarities are very, uh, are very, are very real with this one. But, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's not, uh, difficult to take care of at all. Because, again, he's just like every other enemy where he, he runs right into the bomb. Okay, I already discovered the teleporter. That is not good, please. I have to go and kill all the other guys. See if the other guy can actually... Okay. See, that's what I mean. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's why. That's why you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't discover the teleporter so soon because then there's gonna be like a, a load of enemies that that appear out of here. So if you die, you do keep all your upgrades. The only upgrade that uh, does get removed, however, is uh, the remote detonation, which doesn't really make sense to me. Oh my god! I already discovered the teleporter again. Are you kidding me right now? This is not what I want. See, and this is, and, and that's another problem too, because you, you can't tell where exactly the teleporter is. Because the game doesn't give you an indication as to where, as to where any of the, as to where any of the, uh, you know, upgrades or even the teleporter is. Like the teleporter itself. And also, if I could, if I could like stop dying here. See, and, and you notice how the layout of the, of the stage actually keeps changing and all the enemy placements, uh, keep changing as well. That's what I mean. It's like, the levels, in a sense, are, like, randomly generated, because all the enemy placements are different every single time, the layouts of the rocks are different. The only thing that doesn't really change is the size of the level. That's the only- that's the only thing that doesn't really, uh, change at all. Okay. If you could just please. If you could just please. Because I'm starting to suck again. And that's not ideal at all. Thank you. Thank you for being dumb and flying right back into the explosion. Okay, please. Wake up. Okay, no, he didn't wake up. Hang on a second. Yeah, see, he kind of, he kind of, like, runs away when he does that. Hang on. Put that there. Stay there. Okay, thank you. Right. Let's make sure that I don't find the teleporter immediately, because this is, that, that's not what I want. Okay, you're coming back the other way. Get out of here. You have, like, multiple clones of Pac-Man. Okay, he's coming back around. Explode. Oh, darn it, he- he went back into the- the little- the little crevice over there, the little corner. Okay, come on here. Come on. I don't suck this much! Okay, I- I almost got him there, but if he can come back... Come back here, for goodness sakes! Just stay- Oh my god, dude, this is- this is- I- I don't like this right now. Okay, here we go, here we go. Don't diverge! Oh my god, he diverged. That's what I told him not to do. Okay, there we go, he didn't diverge that time, though, so screw him. Okay, please don't be the teleporter. Oh my god, okay. This will probably be the last stage that I play here, guys, and then after that I'll go and uh, show off the battle mode, because there's not really that that much else I uh, I have to say about uh, this mode in Bomberman in particular. This is the mode that I probably remember the least, because this is the one I played the least. I do know a lot about the battle mode, though, so I'm excited to show you guys that, at the very least. Um, I think I just made something rhyme there without- without even intending for it to rhyme, but, uh... Yeah, you know what? I wanna- I wanna go and kill all the enemies first. I wanna kill the enemies first, before I- I find this portal. Because these guys all need to die first, so I can go and- and- and scour... ...safely. So I'm not under the- the- the looming threat of- of more enemies spawning. Okay, please. Oh god, get out- get out of the way. Darn it. 
just he moved back. Okay, if he can come back this way, come back. If he starts moving towards me again, actually, here's a better idea. Trap him in there. Okay, that's that doesn't work. Here, trap him. Move back around. Okay, fine. You want to get trapped into the little crevice right here? Fine. I mean, the other guy can't get trapped because he's a ghost. He can just kind of move move through places. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Okay, this guy is... This guy is like, is like trolling me here. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, go. Oh my god, dude. This is ridiculous. Okay, here. Nice. Okay, 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 okay. Now. Now just for you. You're, you're my last victim here. No, you're you're done. You're done, buddy. Get out of here. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. The upgrade is right up here. Okay, now I need to start like like exploding things right here. Because I'm about to run out of time. Oh my god. I need to I need to go. I need to go right now, guys. Okay, there it is. There's a teleporter. Good. You just Oh my god, are you serious right now? Okay, I guess. What the heck is this? Okay, wait a second. So is it Wait a s- okay, I don't understand something. Can- can enemies still spawn out of the teleporter even if I don't find it? In time- what? That doesn't make any sense! Okay, well- well I killed three of them right there, but I mean- What? Okay, I- I thought for sure that- that I'd be- I'd be safe if I- Or- or was there another enemy though? Was there another enemy that I didn't- that I didn't notice? Here, go kill yourself, please. Or I killed you, but... Okay, I thought- I thought for sure that you would just be able to get out of the portal safely. Was there another enemy that I didn't- that I didn't notice? That I forgot to kill, or did I just take too long? I- What? I've never seen that happen. Okay. And why was it spawning them, like, so much? There were, like, six enemies that came out of there. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. We'll- we'll- we'll do this- we'll do this again. I think I can actually just find another extra life here. I think this is, like, basically a level where I can just mine for lives because the- the thing- uh, the upgrade keeps, uh, spawning all the time. Like- like, the upgrade will reappear again. I do believe I will be able to find it again. Yeah, like, right here, see? There, I got my extra life back. And now I'm gonna go and murder every single one of you. Because I just all want you, I want all of you to just stay dead, okay? Because you're kinda, you're kinda pissing me off right here. Yeah, and the pterodactyl can also, uh, fly over rocks too, much like the ghosts. Oh my god. Come on here. Please. I'm trying my hardest, I swear. I'm not this bad at video games. At, I, I just said video games, wow, okay. This is, this is just amazing. Amazing performance right here. There, he flew back into it. Now, is that it? Is that everyone? I think that might be everyone, guys. So when I find a teleporter, I just have to- I just have to charge right into it. I have to just- I have to just run into it before any other stupid crap happens. Okay, come on, please. Also, if you are, uh, hiding behind the rocks, the, uh, explosion cannot hit you because the rock will, uh, block the explosion off. Okay. Please, I need to- I need to find this here. Come on. This would be so much easier if I had my remote detonation, but it's- it's okay. I got my- my- my life back that I- that I stupidly lost because stupid things happened, which just so happened to be stupid. Oh my god. Okay, please don't let it be in, like, the last place I look again. I don't want this to happen again, please. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Where are you at, teleporter? Not it either? Okay. What about down here? No, that's not it. What about these? No, that's not, that's not it either. Also, I do think you need to wait for the, the, the explosion to disappear completely, because I think if you do just run right into it, then you'll, you'll end up dying again. Oh my god, it is gonna be in the last place I look again, isn't it? Oh my god, it is. It's gonna be in this corner, this one corner of the map that I didn't decide to look, to look for, because there were, like, too many rocks. Okay, are you serious right now, dude? Come on. This is- this is- this is absurd. Are you serious? Come on here. It is gonna be in the last place I look, isn't it? Oh my god. Are you joking me with this- with this baloney crap right now? Okay, there we go. Run! Run! Okay. No one- no one- no one flew out of it that time, or no one t spawned out of it. 
Okay, we at least- we at least got through that. Yeah, there's more- there's more Pac-Man clones. Actually, that- that pink guy over there kind of looks like, uh, Pinky from, uh, Pac-Man. I- I will admit. Yeah, there's- there's- there's all sorts of lawsuits waiting to happen here. Alright. Well, I think you guys get the gist of, uh, the, uh, normal game mode here, so... Yeah, it's, it's basically like- like Ordinary Bomberman if you've ever played the, uh, the Bomberman games of old. Has mostly the same gameplay here. And that is the only real gameplay Bomberman even has... Oh, excuse me. That's the only real gameplay Bomberman has to begin with. You just place down bombs, you blow up rocks and enemies. You only have one real method of attack anyway, and all the enemies just kill you in one hit. So, that's pretty much all there is to say about that. So, because I don't know how to, uh, to exit menus, I think I'm just gonna restart the emulator here. And we're now going to go to battle mode, because this is the one I remember, uh, the most. So let's go and play that instead. So, you can choose uh, how many players you want in a match. You have two, three, four, or even five player matches. I don't see how you'd be playing this game with five human players, though, because I'm pretty sure the TurboGrafx-16 didn't have uh, five player controller support, or five controller support. There is something really weird you can do if you uh, set the game to a five player match and you set all of the uh, players to computer opponents. But I'll get into that in just a moment. I'll go to two-player match first. You can choose between uh, playing as either uh, the White Bomber or Black Bomber. You can set all of them to be computer opponents so you can just watch a battle. Although I don't see why you would want to do that. Just for a change of pace, I think maybe I'll try playing as the uh, Black Bomber Man. Uh, okay, I, I worded that very awkwardly. Well, I don't know. Am I gonna be able- is it still gonna be like the same controls when I'm using the Black Bomber? I'll just go to a one-win match for now because I don't plan on playing this for too long. You do have different stages here. You have the warehouse, the dungeon, the desert, the city square, the pyramid, starship, in the sky, and toy store. Each have their own, uh, hazards here, as you can see, and have their own, uh, block types. The dungeon is, uh, more reminiscent of the older Bomberman games. Uh, I think I remember playing the Toy Store a lot on the, uh, Wii Virtual Console. So I think we'll go to, uh, this stage for now. Uh, okay, is it the same controls? Okay, it's- it's actually not the same controls here. Uh, okay, I didn't even want to save a state, okay. Well, never mind then, I guess- I guess the controls are- are completely different when you're playing as the other- as the other bombers. In that case... We'll just- we'll just go back to battle game here, go to a two-player match, and we'll just play as the, uh, n the normal bomber. I just wanted to see if maybe I could. I probably still can, but it's just that the controls are completely different, and I don't feel like experimenting with that right now. Alright, so, the way that, uh, battle mode works is that you're using your bombs to try and blow up the other players, obviously. And, uh, well, that's- that's pretty much it. You do have, uh, more upgrades this time around that you can use to, uh, upgrade your bombs here. You can make them more powerful, so that it, uh, it gets a lot- a lot more difficult for, uh, you know, the- the other player to, uh, avoid the explosion, of course. There's also these, like, uh, death upgrades here as well, which I'm not even sure what they do. I might have just, uh, screwed myself over, actually. Well, hang on a second, let me just go and, uh, purchase- purchase all these upgrades here. Okay, what the heck is going on? I- I think it's because I- I got that death upgrade that... Yeah, that I- that I lost my, uh... My, uh, my bomb power. My bomb- my explosion radius here. Okay. I'm not gonna let you get this. I'm not gonna let you get this. No, no, no. No way in heck. No way in heck. Uh, uh, oh jeez. Okay, he's trying to trap me here. Hang on a moment. No, you will not do this. You won't do this to me, boy. Okay, there we go. His explosions are actually a lot, a lot, a lot, uh, smaller now. Oh, I gotta escape. Escape! Oh god. Oh god. Oh, hang on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, hello. Oh my god, he's trapping me. He's trying to trap me here. Get, get out of here, for goodness sakes. Oh, oh good lord. Oh, good lord. Hey, 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 hey. Hang on a moment. Good god, this is like reminding me of, of the time I played the Melon Bomber game mode in, uh, in Gary's Mod. Okay, hang on a second. This is actually surprisingly hectic. Come on, okay, give me all that. No, I need- I need all of this. You don't need it. You don't need it for anything. No need- no need it for any of your science experiments. Oh god, I kicked the bomb, okay. Actually, maybe that's not what that other upgrade did then. Because I was just able to kick it right there. Okay, leave me alone, please. Good lord. Stop following me. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Oh, get out of there. 
Hurry up? Okay, yeah, I am trying to hurry, but uh, what the heck? Okay, I was not aware that there was just gonna be sticks of dynamite that just suddenly appear and blow me to smithereens. I don't remember that from this game mode. Yeah, but then you're just... they, they just... Uh, yeah, so I, I do actually remember this victory screen here. They just, uh, lifting up the Black Bomber into, uh, the air. And also, I'm lifting him up too, you know, the guy that, that he just, uh, that he just, uh, snuffed out. You know, because all's, all's fair. You know, no, no hard feelings toward each other. None of the Bombers have any hard feelings toward each other, even when we are blowing each other up. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's all you guys really need to know about, about battle mode. So I'm gonna try and do this, uh... This weird thing with the uh, computer opponents now, very quickly, and then I think after that I will uh, end this video. So, the AI in this game, I wouldn't say is that intelligent, but uh, you can you can get them to do something really weird if you set all of the uh, computer, if you set all of the uh, players to computer opponents, and you have five of them here at once. So. If we just go and do this, I don't believe uh, it matters which stage I select because I do believe this this anomaly occurs on any stage in the game. Like, I, I believe it occurs on all stages, but we'll just go to the warehouse here very quickly and watch what happens. Watch what happens as soon as I start the game. So as you can see, they place down a bomb in the corner which ends up trapping them. And, uh, they all get destroyed by their own bombs, and it causes, uh, it causes, uh, the game to be a draw. So, basically, none of them win. Well, actually, I think this, this glitch is more prevalent on, uh, the, the warehouse level in particular, but I'm pretty sure it does occur on other stages, too. But you can really see the, the effect of this on the warehouse stage in particular. Now, sometimes they are intelligent, and they do... Uh, you know, d duck into a corner to try and avoid their bomb, but as you can see, that doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the green guy can uh, can get it up, can get out of here, you know, be before his bomb explodes. But yeah, I don't really know why the AI does this. It's like they they place a bomb in the corner, and then sometimes they just they just spaz out, and then they they get destroyed. They get obliterated by their own bomb. So. Really don't know why they behave like that. It's not like all of them do that. It seems to be random as to whether or not the, uh, you know, as, as to whether or not uh, the bombers will actually get destroyed by their own bomb. Because it almost seems to me like there's, like, some sections of the stage that are just disappearing and giving them enough room to uh, get out of the way of their bomb in time, actually. Yeah, it does seem like it is, so... I, I don't know, are the stages in, in battle mode randomly generated to an extent? Yeah, because I am seeing like little little corners that are either disappearing and reappearing sometimes. So that way they can they can get out of the way of their bombs. Okay, that's strange. Yeah, because that conveyor belt wasn't there before. Like wait like wait a second. Let me just restart the game again one last time to see if that conveyor belt is there. No, it's not there anymore. Okay, so it's like the layout of all these stages isn't isn't the same all the time because there's some blocks that are actually missing. Okay, well, you know what? I, I don't understand this game anymore, guys. I just don't even understand what 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 is happening at all. I do not understand the universe in general. Uh, there's also this thing right here called Comlink. I don't quite understand what this is. But when you click on it, it says both players start here at the same time. Player who pushes run button will be the white. You just have this image of the white bomber and black bomber holding what appears to be two Game Boys connected together via the link cable. Kind of looks like they're trying to play Pokemon or something. I don't quite know what this is. My knowledge of the TurboGrafx-16 is very minimal. If you guys could inform me on what that could have possibly been, you know, if, if you guys know uh, more more information about Bomberman 93 than I do, because my knowledge of this game is very minimal, despite the fact that I have played it many times before, uh, you know, l let, let me know. Let me know exactly what that was. But I think I am going to uh, end this video here now, guys, so... Bomberman 93, still a very fun uh, Bomberman game, as always. You know, the Bomberman games are always uh, very fun to play. Even though I'm not really the biggest fan of the uh, single-player campaign. 
I don't really like the fact that all the levels are like randomly generated. Yeah, because it's it's like pseudo random. It kind of feels like I'm playing uh, a roguelike almost. It's like a precursor to roguelikes. But battle game is still really fun if you can uh, you know get get your friends to play it. Uh, it's okay to play with uh, computer opponents, although, like I said, the computers sometimes behave very bizarrely, uh, especially when you have all of them set to computer opponents and you have five of them on screen at once. If you're playing certain stages, then they just kind of end up killing themselves and it's not really fun or exciting to watch at all. So it's probably best if you just play it with real people because the AI doesn't seem to be uh, that smart. And uh, Comlink, I have no idea what it is. I also don't know what password is either, but I assume uh, you can input the password to start on later levels in the normal game. Or maybe that's even what, what load is. I, I don't know what the other uh, two menus uh, entail at all, really. But, uh, yeah, Bomberman 93. Also, I, I did forget to, uh, to to mention here that this is the, uh, yeah, like the yearly edition of Bomberman. So this is, this is kind of like uh, Hudson... Adopting the uh, whole EA Sports method of uh, naming their games, or at least the Bomberman games in particular. 1993 edition. Even though uh, the original Japanese version is not 100% accurate, because this game came out for the PC Engine in 1992, but it, it, it later made its way to North America in 93, so the North American title screen is uh, a little more honest. But uh, other than that, guys, it's, it's just Bomberman. You know, still still fun as always, it's still the fun formula, even even if it is the exact same formula, pretty much. It doesn't feel like it's that much different from the older Bomberman games, aside from the fact that the graphics are a lot nicer now, because we are running on a 16-bit uh, system. A 16-bit system that just so happens to run on 8-bit CPU architecture, which is the ironic part, but whatever. En enough about the TurboGrafx-16, it was a very bizarre console. I don't really know why it, it failed. Well, I, I already said why it failed. It was due to poor marketing, but I don't know. I felt like this could have been a very good competitor to the Genesis or the SNES. I, I think I heard that it was actually more powerful than the Genesis or the SNES, so I think the only reason why it ended up failing was because of the poor marketing. Not only that, but there wasn't that much third-party support anyway. If Hudson just marketed it a little bit better, then... Who knows, maybe it could have sold a lot better than the Genesis and the SNES combined, but unfortunately it ended up suffering the same fate that the Dreamcast would uh, a few years later. Anyway, if you guys want to uh, purchase this game, I don't really know where you'd be able to purchase it, because you wouldn't be able to get it on the, uh, the Wii Shop channel anymore, because Nintendo shut down Wi-Fi services for all internet-based Wii channels in 2014, so the Wii Shopping channel is no longer online. And this game did not receive any other re-releases beyond the Wii Virtual Console, so... I guess just get the game on an actual TurboGrafx-16, or just play it on an emulator, of course, but you know that I don't condone online piracy. And the only reason I am even playing this on an emulator is because I do legally own this game. This was something I downloaded from the Wii Shopping channel uh, many years ago, back when I was in, like, middle school, I would say. I just haven't played it in a long time, wanted to share my experiences with you guys, even though I didn't have that many experiences of this game anyway. So, I guess if you're a purist, just go and get this game on an actual TurboGrafx-16, or if you can't be bothered to do that, download it on an emulator, but I'm not going to tell you where to download it, because, like I said, I don't condone online piracy. Google is your friend, as I always keep saying. Ask Google, they'll know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, as always. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later!